Hi guys, welcome to this video tutorial for Xtool P2. Today we will show you how to replace the main control board for P2. This video has four parts. In the first part, we will show you how to remove the external covers and plates. Then, we will guide you on how to remove the main control board. In the third part, we will show you how to install a replacement board. In the fourth part, we will guide you on how to put all the parts back together. Okay, let's dive right in. Things you need. For tools, you can use the one used in this video, or find alternatives with the same specs. Disconnect the power supply of the machine. Use the hex head of the screwdriver to remove the five screws on the rear upper cover. Then open the lid to remove the six screws on the inner side. Remove the rear upper cover. Pinch the fastening ring to remove the smoke exhaust pipe. Use the hex head to remove the six screws on the rear plate. Remove the connection cable of the rear plate. Press down the connector of the air tube and take it out. Remove the connection cable of the fan. Remove the rear plate. Use the cross head to remove the six screws on the front plate. Remove the front plate. Use the hex head to remove the three screws inside the left upper cover. Use the cross head to remove the two screws in the front of the cover. Remove the left upper cover. Use the hex head to remove the two screws in the front of the left plate. Remove the two screws at the back of the plate. Remove the three screws at the bottom of the plate. Remove the left plate. Remove the four screws fixing the cooling fan of the main control board. Remove the four hexagonal copper pillars. Unplug all the cables on the board one by one. Remove the Wi-Fi antenna. Use the hex head to remove the seven screws fixing the main control board. Remove the board. Put in the replacement board. Use the hex head to fix seven screws on the main control board. Connect the cables to the board. Note, each cable and port is one-to-one, -one, and can be distinguished by colors, specs, and the number of wires.
screw on the hexagonal copper pillars. Fix the four screws of the cooling fan on the main control board. Connect the cable of the cooling fan to the board. Install the Wi-Fi antenna. Place the left plate back. Install the three screws at the bottom of the left plate. Install the two screws at the back of the plate. Install the two screws in the front of the left plate. Place the left upper cover back. Use the cross head to install the two screws in the front of the left upper cover. Use the hex head to install the three screws inside the cover. Connect the air tube to the rear plate. Note, be careful not to make the air tube kinked when installing the rear plate. If it is kinked, cut off the part and reconnect. Install the corresponding cables to the plate. Use the hex head to install the six screws on the rear plate. Install the smoke exhaust pipe. Install the six screws on the front plate. Use the hex head to install the five screws on the rear upper cover. Then open the lid to install six screws inside. Now it's done. You've finished the replacement of the water cooling system control board. We hope this video is helpful. Feel free to contact the X-Tool support team if you have any questions.